Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a very snowy day, but I'm going to Tractor Supply and then I'm gonna be on my way to see Paris and hopefully I'll get a ride in today. See you guys at the barn. So I made it to the barn and it's getting late, so I'm just gonna feed her and leave. Um, but this is her pasture. Um, the other horses, she's still kind of a baby where she can't defend herself, but I had to bring her out to eat because other horses were bullying her. So this is OTTB training day four, and I was working on desensitizing Paris. So I was flicking around my lunge line up and down, and I took the pressure off by not facing her so she couldn't, so she wasn't going to be more scared. It was actually a very windy day, so before we recorded, I was walking her around just to make sure she wasn't going to be spooky of the loud wind noises because the wind was like about 30 miles an hour and it almost sounds worse than the bird that hit the wall. So Paris didn't understand what I wanted. I didn't want her to trot or to canter during this session. But I continue to try to take the lunge line away from her. So I put myself between the scary object of waving it around. And I don't have her lunge line um, long because she has a habit of getting her leg over the lunge line. And she kind of spooks when she does that. So I make sure that I don't have slack in the lunge line at all times because I don't know how but she always gets her leg caught or her leg over the lunge line so I'm just trying to calm her down from trotting she is trotting a lot slower which I like and I decided to not continue to desensitize waving the lunge line because that was only making things worse um, at this specific time so I decided to walk away and go over to a different area and try to get her to relax because I do know that she's breathing hard. Also, it's cold. She's away from her friends. She really wasn't paying attention to me much. So I started um, knocking the lunge line on my shoe because it made a certain sound. And I wonder if Paris was trained this way to lunge, um, which is kind of going to be difficult to how I retrain her because I wanted to desensitize her to the noises that are made and she wasn't listening to my voice so I had to pull a little bit on the lunge line to get her to stop because I didn't want her to keep running around and ignoring my voice which was kind of annoying because I don't want her to be so scared where she doesn't listen to me if I if she doesn't listen to my body language or my voice I don't want her to get to that point where she can just ignore me. So I took her over to the, what is this called? The mounting block. And I started kicking it lightly so I can make a sound to see if she was going to react to it. And then I climbed up onto the mounting block to see how she would handle it. Because the first time we came in here, she was spooky when I was standing on the mounting block. Um, I didn't show that in my video because I was trying to figure out how she was gonna do and trying to figure out the lights in the arena. I actually started running around with Paris because we both need exercise and I need exercise. And it's actually kind of hard to run in this arena because of the footing for me. I'm not very good at running, but I decided to run alongside Paris and she kept trying to come over to cut off my space and I didn't want her to do that. I wanted her to not cut me off and cut my drive line off. So I kept waving the lunge line towards her to get her to stop coming over to me um, because I do want to work on side passes with her. And I posted this on my Instagram story, working out with my horse because we work out together. So I caught exercise with Paris. And also I go back to trying to desensitize her to the lunge line. And yes, my lunge line keeps getting tangled. I'm going to probably put a rubber band over the parts that I don't use because I don't use the full length of the lunge line. Um, and I just keep tapping it on my foot. I could be better with the rhythm that I have and it started making Paris 
freak out a little bit to where she started cantering. So I stopped tapping my foot with it and I just let her run around a little bit to calm down so she wasn't as spooked by it. And she kept trying to pull me over to another side of the arena and I didn't want her to learn that she can just continue to pull me because I really didn't want her to canter. I wanted her to actually walk. But again, she still didn't listen to my voice or listen to my body language cues, which I don't really show in this video. And yes, I do realize that my foot was over the lunge line. It, for some reason, I guess I just don't pay attention that well, which you should always pay attention when you are working with a horse because it could be dangerous. So I just continue to let her trot around just so she doesn't get spooked and scared all the time when we do these things. I am going to actually work with a plastic bag the next time, not in the next session um, because I'm also having a lesson this weekend. So I'm going to do a my crop and a, tie a plastic bag to it and see if she reacts the same way. Um, I've got this learning method from a horse trainer that trains rescue horses in my area. So that's what I was trying to do. And also Paris didn't listen to me again, so I had to pull on the lead rope. She was too busy, focused on looking out the door and looking on the outside. And I had to get her attention. So we started lunging onto the other side. And I did lunge her on both sides. Uh, just so you guys know, I just didn't show the entire training session, but here I was desensitizing her to the lunge line to see if she was going to spook when I was tapping the lunge line on her blanket and rubbing it on her body. I also did a little bit of this on her back legs, but my lunge line kept getting all tangled up, so I didn't continue to do this for a very long time. And I also did this on both sides just to make sure she wasn't going to spook. And she was trying to roll and not pay attention. So I do tap the lunge line on my leg just to get her attention to where she can focus back on me. Because her focus was elsewhere trying to roll or trying to look back out to the field of where she was going. So I only did this for about 20 minutes because I'm still working on both of our stamina and our strength because I don't want her to work hard too hard because I don't want her to think oh every time I come in here or every time she puts the lunge line on me I have to work super super hard and that's not what I wanted even though she did work a lot harder than I wanted her to in the session because it was windy and she was spooky um, I didn't continue to keep scaring her with my lunge line but she was able to relax later on after about 15 20 minutes well that was our session but after maybe about 10 to 15 minutes she started relaxing and didn't care about the wind too much um, she cared more about the wind when she was actually out in it so here I go trying to desensitize her and tap her and she decided to try to go away and not pay attention to me. So I waved the lunge line in front of her so she can focus back on me and be like, hey, you're supposed to pay attention to me. I'm over here. Um, so she did focus on me flapping the lunge line around and she kept trying to pull me again and drag me and I didn't want her to do that. And also, again, I didn't loosen my lunge line because she gets her leg over this lunge line and it's happened like three times three four times when i had it slacked and it wasn't dragging on the ground it's like she can it's like a jumping object so then i started facing away from her to release the pressure to put the lunge line between her and me so she is not too spooky because she wasn't listening to my body language and she wasn't listening to my voice either so i just kind of let her self chill chill down and not work too fast um and i did kind of pull a little bit on the lunge line she probably would have done better if i worked her in a rope halter but and you see there she stepped on her lunge line um, I think that was just my fault, so I'm not going to blame her for it. It is my fault that I 
wasn't paying too much attention but i'm trying to get her to not be too afraid of things waving around i know it was a lot of noise and it was probably a lot for her but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye